What's up, people? It's your boy Key, Key's Life. Back at you with another episode. Today, we're going to do something new. This series is called Clown World News Reaction. So, <laughs> we're going to get into it because I'll be looking at different things on the internet and I'm like, this is ridiculous. And I have to say something, speak up, you know, do some commentary, do some reactions. Let me warn you guys. So, my um, views may be a little offensive. You know, you might get your feelings hurt. You know, you might want to go somewhere and so have somebody hug you, make you feel good after you hear this. But guess what? You know, get over yourself. Go jump in the lake. Do what you got to do um, to make yourself feel better. Um, I'm not responsible for your feelings, you know? But it's all good. With that being said, we're going to go over to Baltimore and see what's going on over there. <laughs> yep. We're going to get into it. All right, let's get into this. Shout out to Fox News Baltimore for this report. Jeff Abel is live with the latest first on Fox. Jeff. Well, the mayor is insisting tonight there will be no changes in protocol, even after vandals shattered the a window of a city van with volunteers inside. Uh, we know that vandalism happens everywhere in this country every day. Mayor Brandon Scott was downplaying today the vandalism of a... All right, so first of all, that mayor is an absolute liberal hack, and a, you know he's 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 ridiculous, unfortunately. So when I first heard the story, like oh vandalism, I thought maybe they took some spray spray paint, you know, probably tagged it up or something, maybe let out the um, you know the air from the tires or something like that. Oh, that's vandalism. That's no big deal. You know, it got hit with a blunt object <laughs> in the window when there's people inside. That's a little bit more than vandalism. I don't know, comment down below if you agree or not. Youth curfew van that happened while youth curfew volunteers were inside. And we know that, uh, that is, things have happened to vehicles consistently across this world. Uh, but what we won't do is highlight the extreme. It was a little before midnight Saturday night here on Denham Circle in Cherry Hill when a city van very similar to this one was vandalized. All right, so if you don't know what's going on in Baltimore right now, it's a crime-ridden, infested hellhole. Murders every night, kids running around with stolen nine millimeters and they got their moms on TV talking about they don't understand why he got shot <laughs> by the police while running with the gun. So it's a complete cluster and a um, dumpster fire there, you know? So so they try to implement this curfew where the police, or, there's not enough police officers in order to enforce this. So they got volunteers driving around this little uh, white van right here you know, trying to tell these criminals to get off the street, you know, um, I don't know, to deter them from breaking curfew. I don't know what they're doing. So they got a brick to the back of the window and they like, oh, there's some vandalism. It's not a big deal or whatever. Okay, we'll see. <clears throat> and volunteers inside were forced to retreat, according to a statement from the mayor's office at approximately 11.34 p.m. An engagement van was attempting to park and engage a group of young people when it was struck engagement by an unidentified van. object that shattered the back window of the vehicle. Staff immediately followed protocol and notified their supervisor, who instructed them to return to the C.C. Jackson Recreation Center and debrief. They were probably defending themselves from what they feared. Here you have some people trying to pick them up at night in a white van. And you got these these people that want to keep on defending this kind of nonsense behavior. There's a curfew in effect because every night somebody's getting shot, and a lot of times are these young people out here committing all these crimes. They pull up in the white van and they're afraid, like. There's always these people that defend the nonsense, like this guy, whoever this guy is. 
city's new curfew enforcement effort relies on volunteers, not police, to engage youth. The president of the police okay. union insists it poses a high risk to volunteers. Mm -hmm. right today, that some of these juvenile curfew violators are in fact criminals. Some don't hesitate to. Yeah, you think so? You think they're criminals? Violently engage with the police. Why would they hesitate to do the same with a volunteer? What we have to do is, is not sensationalize things. He's the one that sensationalized it when he came up with this idea of the curfew. No one. <laughs> you know, let me tell you, as a black person, we got to do better. <laughs> I swear to God, we just got to do better. We got to start taking accountability for the nonsense out here that's going on. And we got to start calling it out. This is why I'm starting this whole series right now, because cancel me, what I don't care. Inside the van was injured when vandals shattered the rear window. But with summer now beginning, critics fear what else could happen next. It puts kids at risk. It puts volunteers at risk. It puts police at risk. And it is only exacerbated a bad situation and made it a catastrophe uh no sir it doesn't put kids at risk because these kids should be at home you know at the curfew time with their parents in bed reading something playing xbox something instead of outside in the street thugging and running around shooting people so it doesn't put the kids at risk because these are volunteers, they can't do anything to them. They're not gonna put them in a headlock, drug them, and then drag them someplace, idiot. So the only person that's gonna be at risk is the volunteers. And God bless anybody that would volunteer to have to deal with these these savages out here. You roll up on them, oh, you know, it's past your curfew. You might get a bullet in your face messing with these kids. But anyway, you will always have these people that want to justify this. Oh, the kids are afraid. That's why they're throwing rocks and shooting people. Oh, it's dangerous out here. That's why my son got a stolen nine millimeter. And I don't understand why he got shot by the police and they're ready to protest and all this dumb shit. Do better, guys. Well, so far, no one has been arrested in connection with this. Incident. And they won't be. They're live tonight, Jeff Abel, Fox 45 News. Anyway, let me click out of this. Shout, shout out again to um, Fox News Baltimore. It's absolutely ridiculous. Okay, people, we're back. <laughs> so you saw that story. I'm just gonna give my little two cents, you know, with that news uh, clip. Shout out to Baltimore again. Y'all really doing it big. You know, off to a great start. You know, it's not really, you know, middle of summer yet. And y'all, like, like, how many murders? What's going on over there? But it is what it is. Because we're going to have some type of asshole activist like this guy making some type of excuses. Oh, we're hungry. Oh, there's no jobs. There's this. There's that. Whatever they try to put in place to help the situation. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem it's gonna work. You know what I mean? You have these volunteers out there, you know, trying to do their job, trying to make the community better, trying to, um, you know, um, enforce this curfew, try to get these kids off the streets so there'll be less violence, less murders, less robberies and everything else. And they get a brick to the back of their little van. And like, and like I said, hopefully, I mean, luckily, and you know, that was all they got, you know what I'm saying? Lucky they didn't get shot up. Lucky nobody got killed. So that was a clear message. Like, whoever your volunteers are, like, y'all don't have any guns. Y'all don't have no protection. You call the police. They're, they're like, um, already scrapped. They're not enough people. They're not putting any money into the departments to retain people, get people, recruit people. So you're trying to do the best you can for your community by trying to do something, and then this is what happens to you. It's, it's absolutely ridiculous. And then you'll have the mayor talking about, oh, yeah, this is just vandalism. If you drive in your car down the street and, you know, you turn up, a, you know, turn up a block and then there's a bunch of people on the corner or something going on and you just driving and you get a brick in the back of the window, will you consider that vandalism or assault? Somebody trying to, you know, um, kill you or, you know, do something or hurt you. 
Let's use common sense here, people. I'm getting tired of these mayors and these, these government officials and these democratic ran hell holes making excuses to why all this crime and all this bullshit is happening. You know, wake up. But the problem not these assholes and these activists and these pro-blacky black this and that and this bullshit race hustlers. The problem is the people who live there that keep voting for these democratic hacks. They don't do anything. They're not about nothing and they're never gonna do anything. And then you got these animals which they don't have um, from broken homes. There's no parental supervision. There's no accountability from their parents, mothers, fathers, uncles, aunts, anybody. They're running around here unsupervised with stolen weapons, guns, drugs, and doing all this bullshit. And they wonder why every night somebody gets shot and killed. But nobody's gonna, no one's speaking up or saying anything about this. But guess what? I'm gonna speak up and say something about that. I'm tired of the nonsense. I'm tired of looking like a clown anytime I travel outside the United States. And it's like, <laughs> I'm looking at the social media that people from other countries see that, 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 that uh, people look like me. It's ridiculous. It's embarrassing and ridiculous. We are the laughing stocks to the universe. Forget the world, the universe at this point. It's ridiculous. And the problem is everybody doing this. Just see the nonsense, but no one's gonna speak up. We should be the ones speaking up about this, but we're the ones that's silent. So you got good black people that good intentions, good morals that go out here, they just wanna do the best for themselves, their family, their community, being overshadowed by these Negroids. And everybody's afraid to say something because somebody's feelings, oh, I don't want to be canceled and this is politically correct or not. Y'all are part of the problem too, some suckers. But anyway, again, shout out to Baltimore. The place is an absolute shithole. And I'll say it. You need to do better. You need to, you need to, you know, just from the ground up and it starts from home, you know, to, to get this whole thing redone. And I'm going to say it. Anyway, that's Clown World News for today. I'll be back with another episode. Do better. Peace. Keys life. Subscribe, comment, say whatever, do whatever. It's all good. Later, y'all.